Hi, welcome back to Guardian Angel Resin Creations. So today I'm going to try and do a dirty pour with um, like a 3D bloom, but I'm going to try and do a butterfly. Or actually, I may not do a dirty pour yet because I would like to have like red for the, um, the body and then purple for the wings. So I've already made up my resin. I've put it into my Is Toyo debubbler, which I'm actually getting the hang of now. It works very well. Um, I have very little bubbles in this, so it's looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix up my colors and then I will work out whether or not I'm going to do a dirty pour or whether I'm just going to do three different colors. I'll be back in a second. I'll mix all these up. I won't be a sec. Alrighty, I've measured out all my cups. I've got 20 grams in each. When I made up my resin, which is the Is Toyo, I did 120 of A and about 110 of B. So I'm going to put a bit of this non-sinking purple in there which you can just get off Timu. Just put in non-sinking sparkle for resin. And it comes up. And I got a pack of 12. Not sure how much it was, but it really wasn't that expensive. So I'm just gonna just gently mix this in. Just gently mix it around. I only want the finest bit of the sparkle in there. Don't want to put too many bubbles in there. And I forgot to actually warm up my resin before I started. So what I did when I was stirring is I have a little tiny heat gun and I just put the cup in front of the heat gun and just, just gently stir and it just warms it as you're doing it. And by the time it sits in the little debubbler, it's normally pretty good. All right, that looks pretty good. I don't think I've got too many bubbles in there, so I'm just gonna leave that to the side. Then I'm going to get just lean across here and get my white, because I always have it just sitting upside down, all ready to go. So I'm gonna do two drops. I think you can see me. I'll bring it over here in case you can't. So one, Drop it in and two, in you go. There we go. Now, I hate wasting it because it, at least a drop comes to the top, but not much you can do about it. Right, I'm going to put that, make sure it's closed, put that back up the right way so that I can use it next time. Let's give my hands a spray and get the white off. Off. Huh. Okay then. It helps if you don't wipe it with the bloom on your hands. Look at my hands now. I'm gonna have, everything's gonna be white. So I'm also going to drop in bit of actually I'm gonna was gonna drop in the the, the crystal pearl violet violet sorry lost for words I'm actually gonna drop the green in so just a tiny bit of the green pearl about that much drop that in there just give it a little mix just to get that mic in there just so that mic is starting to get wet I will come back and mix it properly and then we are going to do we have got our soft violet yep soft magic violet oh well, that's a bit much and we've got 
probably about that much on the spoon. Chuck that in there. Oh, maybe a tiny bit more. Not much more. Get that in there. Might need a smidge more. We'll see how we go with it. Okay, next. And then we have our, now that is number one, that is number 90. Um, the pearl was number 105. And the dust is number four. So we have, I didn't use the violet, did I? That's number nine, green pearl. Let's go magic red, shall we? And I haven't opened the magic red. I'm just going to get a stick. I did have like a little opener somewhere, but my grandchildren have been here, so it's all lost as usual. So let's go probably the same amount as we did the purple. Probably about that much in there. Mix that around. Oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Well, it's like a bluey purple, which is really cool. Like a blue, bluey pink. All right, let's give that a little mix. And then we are going to come back to our white. Give it a proper mix. Sorry about sniffing then. All right, I'm going to mix these properly and I'll be back in a second. All righty, I have finished mixing everything up. It's all up to temperature now. This is sitting at a th about 36 and a half degrees so I'm just going to spray a little bit, little bit of alcohol and then I'm just going to just gently just pour it in down the side get that in there before that alcohol stains the mold okay so this has probably been sitting about a half an hour or so hopefully this is not going to flash cure because it is quite deep in the mould. Scrape it all out. Don't waste it. time clean as you go okay ready now I'm gonna put a little bit of each into a cup and then I'm going to pour a little bit sort of um, a bit hard to explain what I'm going to actually do, so I will just show you. Got a bit of a torch. Forgot to bang out the powder again. All right, so uh, give that a bit of a torch. Oh, because it's cold out here, that's why it smoked. Then, all right, I'm going to put actually white first. Bit of white. Oh, I've got my flame up too high. That would be why. That better. All right, white. And oh, I didn't bring my thing over to put my sticks on. Sit my stick there. Bit of purple. That looks even. Bit of pink. Bit more 
watch. A bit more purple. More pink. Tiny bit more white. I am not going to stir this time like I did in my last one. And get those bubbles out. Alright. So Hopefully you could, oh, you couldn't even see what I was doing then. Sorry about that. I'm going to bring this over here. Make sure I can see what I'm doing as well. Now, I'm going to try and make a butterfly. So let's see how we go. Now, do the butterfly wings. Now, I'm going to do with the pink, going to do his little body. How'd you come? I'm squeezing the cup too tight. I'm going to go up there and there. Then I'm going to come down. I'm going to need it a bit heavier. Up we go. And around and around. Hopefully I'm not making too many blobbies. No, oops, stuck my finger in it. Seriously. Try and get that back over there. Just fix that up. And there you come. Oh, and it started to rain. Let's try not to stick a finger in it this time. Now, we are going to go with the purple. Get it out. And around the wings. It's not heavy enough. And then we are going to go the white. I 
going to go inside the wings. That. Oh. definitely be putting this into my little curing machine okay now I might just um, I'm going to just scrape all the rest of it into this cup and just see what happens whoops sticky fingers these gloves will be going in the bin. The white doesn't seem to be as sticky for some reason. Oh, that. Oh. Of course I got it on one of my colours. Right. Now, no, I'm not even going to give it a mix. We'll just see how we go. I'm going to go up the centre. Bit more over the little antennas. Come out. I'm going to go over this side to make sure there's enough over here. And there's not much down here. Let's go over it slowly. And I don't know what's going to turn my light. Like. I am learning. We are all learning. Um, I need more in this bottom bit. Right. And that made a mess over there. Right. So I'm going to go out. And out. And then I'm going to just go around. I'm going to go around the butterfly, around the butterfly again, around the butterfly again. I'm going to come down, bring that out. Then I'm just going to go bring little bits out, like little bits in his wings. Like this is probably not going to turn out, but that's alright, I'm learning, we're all learning. Okie dokie, and I'm going to swirl up there through his antenna and pop some bubbles, get rid of my cups first, get them out of the way. I've only just cleaned my bench and now it's dirty again. And spray my hands. And my fingernails are popped out again. But oh good. Right. Let's get rid of some of those bubbles. And then I will do a top coat. I'm not sure what colour top coat I'm going to do yet. Probably maybe a dark colour. I might... Um, oh, I was going to touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. 
I'm gonna leave it as it is and I'm gonna see how we go. I'll be back when it comes to putting the top coat on, but I will keep an eye on these bubbles though and I won't be a sec. Radio, I'm back. This is not looking very promising. There is lots of bits and bobs down the bottom of it. So let's just put a top coat on it and see how we go, shall we? So I've used Glitter Deep Violet number 35 and Intensive Sparkle Blue number 33. I've put the tiniest bit of that on there and I've put um, probably like a little tiny spoon full of this one in there. So it is gorgeous. So just going to give it a bit more of a torch. I've had it sitting for probably about 10 or 15 minutes just to warm up to get some of the bubbles out. So I'm going to just centre you properly and just pour it in. Just pour it on my spoon. Just let it move over there. Give it a help. My resin was cured enough to be able to stick my finger in, fingernail in and leave a mark. Because I have a habit of getting it out too early and then it sinks a little, my top coat sinks a bit. So, oh no. I did not bring its little tray out with it out of my machine so I'm just going to gently lift it up put that on the little tray because the little tray is warm and then I'm going to just put a little bit more in so I mixed up I had another project so I mixed up um, 60 of A and I think about 55 of B and that took about probably 40 grams so I think I mixed up another another 25 and 20 so there's about about 60 grams so I'll just give it a bit more of a pour in there I think it's going to be just enough I do like it to dome Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect amount. And I did not write it down and I did not... I don't think I even said in the beginning how much I put in there. But I think it takes about, about 300 grams. So I think I put about 225 or something in the first lot. So, alrighty. That is looking gorgeous. I will give it a torch and then I'll be back in a second for the demol. Okay, it's all cured up and it's time to demold. Like, we, I will sit it overnight so that it cures properly because it's a little bit soft and a little bit warm because I've had it in my machine. So I'm going to just lift you up a smidge if I can and we are going to take it out right. So I do not have high hopes for this at all. It is actually quite hot. Alright, I put it off. Let's go. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, that's not a butterfly. That is definitely not a butterfly. But I do quite like it. Now, 
I'm just going to lift it up again and see. Did I get bubbles? Oh, I think I did really well. Oh my gosh. Look, no bubbles on the top of it. Wow. Actually, that's like the 3D type of thing. Definitely not a butterfly, but like under there, can you see that under there? I actually have petals underneath. It's just a shame that it went all blobby. But I still like it. I love the colours in it. Love all the butterflies in it. Very, very cool. I love purple, as you'll see by a lot of my videos. I will cut off these little extra bits. But I think that's pretty cool. So you've got like a little swirl in there. Sorry about the ring light. I'll turn it off and see how we go without the ring light. So that is just, that's really cool. It's definitely like a 3D type thing. Right, I'll take some photos of this tomorrow and well, I'll catch you next time. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Otherwise, YouTube won't keep up the, keep my videos up. So um, thank you all to, to all of my lovely subscribers. Um, and if you want to su subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time.